Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. I have two Dollar Tree fall DIYs for you. So let's go ahead and get started with DIY number one. So starting off you're going to need some ivory chalk paint and we're just going to give this Be Grateful sign from Dollar Tree two coats of paint only on the front surface of it and not on the sides. So I'm just showing you this guy right here I got in a foot care kit from Dollar Tree and that's what I'm using to pull up the tape from the stencil that I used on the sign. So here's the big reveal. I absolutely love whenever I first pull up the sheet of paper to see how well it's stenciled onto the sign. So I'm using the color black by Apple Barrel to paint on the words that I stenciled. So while I'm painting a few of these letters on, I wanted to go ahead and tell you, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, turn on that bell so you know every time I upload and share on all your social medias with your friends and family. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. So now that I got my letters painted on, I'm just going to take some of this Burnt Umber by Apple Barrel and give one of these wooden pumpkins from the Dollar Tree two coats of paint. And I'm going to give another pumpkin two coats of this moss by Waverly. And now using some hot glue, I'm just going to glue on my pumpkins. I decided to glue one on the left bottom and one at the top right. And for the top of this, I decided to glue on one of these little pumpkins from a floral arrangement as well as some of the wheat that you can get at Dollar Tree. And there was this little greenery pieces that came on the wheat florals that I cut in half and glued one on each side. So I'm just going to be completely honest, this was not my favorite DIY I've ever done. I've been having a case of crafter's block and I just, I don't know, <laughs> I mean it's cute but not my favorite. Alright, so now I just wanted to share with you guys these face masks. I had a company reach out to me and send these to me and I just wanted to share them with you in case you are looking to buy some face masks in bulk. Their bacterial filtration efficiency is 95%. They are soft, breathable, and skin friendly. So now I just wanted to show you quickly. This is the blue side. The white side is the side you'll want on your face. You'll just wanna stretch it out. And then once you get it in place, you're just gonna bend it over your nose, blow you a kiss, and that is it. So now we're moving on to DIY number two. These are a wooden pumpkin. I just used some of those tower building blocks and some wood beads and a little leaf on top. So let's go ahead and show you how I got started with DIY number two. So you're just gonna need some of these tower or tumbling tower game blocks and you're gonna need three sets of three so we're going to start by gluing on one uh, sideways onto the other and then we will glue on another one to that one sideways as well. I'm horrible at explaining stuff like this so it's better just to watch. But yeah, so now I'm just going to glue on another block on the one that is sideways uh, and that one will be sideways as well. Oh my goodness, I'm horrible. 
All right, so now we're just gonna glue on a block on the side of that one and another block on the side of that one as well. And then we'll just do the exact same thing on the other side of the pumpkin. So now I'm going to use Vintage White by Folk Art to give one of my pumpkins two coats of paint. And using Burnt Umber by Full Card, I'm going to, or I think it's by Apple Barrel, I'm going to go down the edges and the creases of the pumpkin. So I mixed together Crimson by Waverly and King's Gold by Apple Barrel to make an orange color and I'm just going to give my or one of my pumpkins two coats of the orange and then I'll also go in with that burnt umber and do all the edges and creases with that as well. Using some leaves off of a floral arrangement, I'm just going to cut off one of the leaves and then I'll use some hot glue to attach that to the top of the pumpkin. So I'm just showing you the wood beads that I'm going to be using. These actually come in a four pack from Walmart, uh, four different types, but these are the three that I'll be using. And I'm just going to glue on the dark wood um, bead onto the top. And then right here, I'm just showing you, you could use this one to glue on top of that if you want. That's an option. But I'm actually going to be using the light colored wood bead to glue on top of that. And it actually looks great with just one bead. But I thought, why not just do two? So now I'm just going to be adding a leaf to the top of the orange pumpkin and then I'll be doing a different assortment of beads for the stem. I'm actually showing you this one just as an option because this is one of the beads that comes in, in that pack as well. But I'm going to do the light colored one and then I'm going to do the weird shaped one on top of that. So here's a look at how that turned out. I think it's absolutely adorable. This is definitely one of my favorite projects from this video because like I said, the first DIY was definitely not one of my favorite DIYs I've ever done. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Um, what is your favorite DIY? Which one of these pumpkins do you like better, the orange or the white? And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I promise I do better videos and better DIYs than these. But like I said, I'm just having some uh, crafters block. But yeah, share with your friends and family and don't forget to give it a thumbs up.